In this video, we're going to have a look at one-dimensional moment problems. So getting straight into the question, it says a uniform beam, AB, has mass 20 kilograms and length 6 metres. Instantly, what I take from this bit of information here, a uniform beam has mass 20 kilograms and length 6 metres. If it's uniform, that means the centre of mass is at the centre of the beam. So let's mark that on there. So at the centre of mass there, so the weight of the beam is 20 kilograms times gravity, so 20 G. So there's the, the weight of the beam, 20 G. Okay, the beam rests in equilibrium in a horizontal position on two smooth supports. One support is at C, where AC is one meter, and the other is at NB, as shown in figure one. The beam is modeled as a rod. Okay, so again, I want to put the forces in that are holding the beam up. So at B, there's a contact force pointing upwards. And at C, there's a contact force pointing upwards. Now I'm going to call these forces B and C, which I've written there in red. So part A has asked us to find the magnitudes of the reactions on the beam at B and C. So the first thing we're going to do, as we always should with these types of question, not take moments, even though it's a moments question, the first thing, the best thing to do is to resolve. So I'm going to resolve forces vertically. So all the forces pointing up are B plus C. Take all the forces pointing down. 20G equals mass times acceleration. Acceleration zero because it's in equilibrium. So that means B plus C equals 20G. We've got an equation. Okay, so now that we've got that, that's a step closer to being able to find B and C. Let's take moments about B or C. Now the reason I'm taking moments about B or C is that it allows me to disregard the force at the point at which I take moments. That's because the distance is zero and we know the formula for moments is force times perpendicular distance from what we're considering to be our pivot. So if I take moments about C, and the way I'm going to write that is put a C, then a clockwise arrow indicating that all my clockwise moments are going to be considered positive, or the anti-clockwise I'm going to consider negative. So, taking moments, right, so this force here is a distance of 2 metres, because the weight acts in the middle of the bar, we're 1 metre from the end, so there's 2 metres between those two. So the force is 20G, times the distance from the pivot, C, which is 2 metres. And that has a clockwise turning effect. Imagine the bar being pinned there. Here, this bar is going to be, or beam rather, is going to be turned clockwise about this pivot here by this force. So another force, B, which is 5 metres away from it. However, this is going to have an anti-clockwise effect. So I'm going to take it, take B times 5 and we can ignore this force here because the distance from the pivot is 0 and when a bar is in equilibrium when a body is in equilibrium all moments sum to 0 right so that means that 5B equals 40G which means that B equals 8G. And now we can use this equation that we got from resolving. Which means that B plus C equals 20G. So 8G plus C equals 20G. Which means that C is 12G. Let's put boxes around the answers, just to make them easier to mark. So C is 12G, B 
is a G. So now we run on to part B. It says a buoy of mass 30 kilograms stands on the beam at the point D. The beam remains in equilibrium. The magnitudes of the reactions on the beam at B and C are now equal. The buoy is modelled as a particle. Find the distance AD. So it's a different situation and so requires a different diagram. So now we're told that the reactions at B and C are the same. So let's call that R for reaction and R for reaction, both the same letter because they're both the same force. Again, the middle of the bar, we've got the force 20G and we've got someone standing at point D. 30g and let's call this point d on the bar and the point d lies a distance which i'm going to call d from point a so let's call that distance d okay so it may look a bit of a mess but things are about to clear up so it says find the distance ad so just as we did before let's label this part b just as we did before, let's resolve upwards. So, upwards, the forces are 2R. Then take all the forces downwards. Take 20G, take 30G, equals 0, because it's an equilibrium. Right, so that says that 2R equals 50G, which means that R equals 25g so almost there now if we take moments about a point let's say a since it's the distance ad that we're trying to find so taking moments about a where i'm considering clockwise to be positive okay so all the forces that will turn it clockwise are the 20g and the 30g so the distance from the pivot to the 20g is 3 so 20g times 3 then plus the 30g times the distance d that we don't know let's subtract all the anti-clockwise moments now so take away and we know now that r is 25g so 25g times 1 that's that one there and then for this one take 25g times 6 equals zero scrolling up a little bit okay so we've got 60 G plus 30 G D take 25 G take and 25 times 6 is 150 150 G taking all of that over the other side equals zero taking that all over the other side we get 30 g d equals so it's 175 take 60 is 115 g then divide by 30 g we'll get so 115 divided by 30 is 23 over 6 Three over six meters. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up at the bottom.